Fire away. It's a tough job Riley Self did there to keep it holding. Were you down. the one asking me about him yesterday morning? No. No, somebody ain't. Will was? Yeah. Will was. <laughs> so there's your leverage position right there, Will. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, great job by Riley, obviously. Not just getting the right-handers out, but getting the left-handers out and getting them out uh, when we needed him to be good and keep us close, and then obviously uh, for the save. Really good for Riley. I guess a win. Yeah, yeah a win for Riley. Good, good for him. Was that the starter you expected to see them throw out there on, on Thursday night? Well, we knew yesterday that Tommy was pitching, you know, and so uh, obviously a um, quality uh, young arm there. He's got a bright future in front of him. Um, but uh, obviously tremendous performance by Tommy Mace tonight. Obviously one of your, you know, maybe your best hitter, but did you give any thought all to bunting Jake before he, before he rips the rips? The well, I think you him? always go through what your options are real quick, but it was a pretty simple, easy decision. I just went to... Jake and, and said, uh, Gotro, not Mango. Uh, and just said, we need to swing here. Do you agree? And he said, I do. And that was that simple. And then we went about it there. And obviously, you know, the decision's a great one, but it's all about, you know, Mangum getting the job done right there. What Clear, made Riley so clearly. effective to, to go uh, to the end? Okay, what makes you effective is you get ahead, you throw your fastball down, you're able to use both sides, and you have a secondary pitch. And he did a really good job of that tonight. He got a little bit of chase. Uh, that helped him there, obviously. You know, he's got some unusual pitches, some uh, unique pitches. Uh, they're not unheard of or anything, but, the, you know, most guys don't see him very often. Uh, and uh, the right-handers obviously weren't used to the late uh, movement, you know, there in the eighth. And then uh, Kevin did everything he could to get the left-handers in. But uh, at that point in time, if you throw strikes down, it makes it really hard. And, and he did a wonderful job of that tonight. I thought he did not just a, a, a job of executing his pitches, but you know when the game got exciting there and it got tight, he did a really good job of keeping his poise. We seem to see this every weekend, but Connor goes out there, gives a few runs, but still keeps it within striking distance for somebody else to come back and win the game. Well, I'm pretty pleased with Connor Pilkington. You know, he wasn't very sharp. You know, he two hit batters and four walks, and we talked about that out there as a group, you know, that's uh, that'd be the antithesis of uh, efficient, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, you've got to be able to pitch into the sixth and seventh inning when you don't have your best stuff. When you have your best stuff and you're mowing guys down, that is a relatively simple and easy process, but that's not where he was, and I thought he competed extremely well. Obviously, they had some solid contact there in the second, you know, got his attention in third as well, I guess, but uh, you know, at the end of it, it's six and a third, three earned. That's a nice start for him, or anybody for that matter. Yeah. Some people say that you, this team may have a shot to make a regional with just one win over Florida. A lot of people say two wins. Do you feel like you deserve to get into the regional at this point? Well, I haven't looked at anything. Do I think we deserve to be in the regional? Sure. Look at what we've done against the top three teams in the country when we play them. Nobody can match that. I wouldn't. I can't imagine. You know. But you, what what's more appropriate for me to address is how we're going to play tomorrow. You know, and, and we'll let. Uh, We'll let those things take care of themselves down the road, but we've got some baseball in front of us. We can take care of business. We need to, uh, in my opinion, not do a lot of lobbying here on Thursday night. Uh, um, no disrespect to the question, but we just need to keep playing well. That's what we need to do. Going back to that decision not to bunt Jake there, what made you say that to Jake Gotro that we have to squeak away here? Well, I think you're trying to win the game once you get two guys on. I think if you got one guy on, then you're playing for the tie. And I think once you get two guys on with that quality of hitter, I mean, we're talking about Jake Mangum. You know, I mean, and, um, you know, uh, and he he's a very good hitter, and he's an even better hitter when the, uh, like, the chips are on the line or whatever cliche you would like me to use. You know, I mean, he, he comes through a lot when it really matters late, and I just had a lot of confidence that, that he had a, uh, a good chance to put a good swing on it, and he battled. I mean, it was an impressive at bat. Not just the, the triple, but uh, getting to that pitch. You know, it was really impressive. He fouled off a couple of balls with two strikes or out of the strike zone, and um, I just felt that was our best, uh, felt like that was our best option. Talk about the job Gilbert did for you behind the plate tonight, throwing out three, three different uh, base runners. Well, you know, that kind of helped negate some of the freebies we gave them. You know, we get, we put six guys on free, and so we took three off of the bags, and that, that made it a little bit easier. Um, you know, that's an inning we didn't have to get somebody out at the plate, you know, um, hitting-wise. Um, did a great job, you know, a great job by Marshall, but, boy, you cannot overlook uh, Hunter Stovall at second base. Two of those balls bounced, you know. 
and he was able to get the get the tag down and uh, just a great job by uh, really even the pitcher being uh, you know he got two punch outs on those you know and so we've been able to turn those into double plays and good job of getting the ball where it's supposed to be in a timely manner by the guy on the mound and uh, the throw and the catch and a great job we spent a lot of time working on that we'd like to be as good as we can be and we take a lot of pride in, in the running game and so obviously we went our way tonight we good